Hello everyone, we're back again with another critique video. Today on the channel we have The Plant Slant. The Plant Slant. The Plant Slant. Liam. On TikTok. This person has been recommended to me a few times actually, and from what I've seen, he is one of the most arrogant people on TikTok, but that's typically the case with people that are plant-based. They're very bitter, unfriendly, unhappy people. I don't wish it upon them, and I'm not really making fun of them for it, and disparaging or denigrating them for it. It's a patent association that cannot be ignored. So, this video has no title because it's a TikTok, so so we'll just go ahead and play it. But before we play it, please subscribe to the Patreon if you haven't already. There's a $2 a month tier, a $5 a month tier, and an $8 a month tier in order to gain access to one week early uploads, one extra video per week, ad-free content, and uncensored content. And also refer to the description below to buy my book Contraindicated out now. There are paperback versions, hardcover versions, and also an ebook version. The audiobook version will come out soon as I am in the process of recording and editing that book. It may take a while, but I am on that mission. So that being said, now let's jump right into the video. Video. I would not be putting these in my body if I cared about my health. I see these recommended all the time. Okay, yeah. Ensure drinks, just toxic sludge. That's what they are. Ridiculous. Toxic. Let's just look at these. What a horrible take. Not a horrible take, ma'am. Those kept my friend alive while she was going through chemo. I don't care. I am glad that your friend is alive. I mean that. This is an emotionally driven response and argument. I don't care about emotions on my channel. I'm not trying to be deliberately callous here, but that is not an argument against what she just said. They are toxic. Twinkies are better than starvation. Does that mean that Twinkies are salubrious? No. This man is concurring and corroborating, and I don't care. I am genuinely 100% happy that your friend is alive. I have friends too. I don't want them to die. Death is an unfortunate part of life. Insure drinks are as well. We use those in the hospital all the time. You also serve donuts in the hospital. Don't care. Once again. So like, great. If you can get your nutrition other ways, awesome. Yes. What is your point in making this video? But if not, if you're struggling with something, don't take advice from people like this. Why not? If you're struggling with things, actually, one of the best things is to listen to people that discourage the consumption of toxic sludge like Ensure drinks. What you're talking about is a fringe demographic, which may very well be a significant minority, of people that during cancer treatments cannot consume hardly anything. Besides, in certain circumstances, milkshakes. Give them the milkshakes then. No one is saying not to do that because the alternative is to starve to death. And honestly, ma'am, you know what you're doing. I have no respect for arguments like that that are are emotionally driven and are designed to guilt the opponent into genuflecting obsequiously towards you and becoming apologetic for defending their position, which is, well, correct. Those are perfectly acceptable to get the nutrients that you need to survive. Conditionally. If you are going to starve to death, yes. You do what you can with what you have. Sure, but those are not salubrious or indicated for human physiology. We are done. So, Kate blocked me long ago after I called her out for having, how you say, uh, the worst takes. And honestly- That's an opinion from an arrogant individual here. What does your shirt say? All food is guilt-free because guilt isn't an ingredient. <sighs> Goodness me. I'm kind of glad she did because when people fear monger things like infant formula or- Wow. What is this man's name again? Liam, are you actually advocating for infant formula? Once again, you do what you can with what you have. However, you can also advocate for more salubrious alternatives. Sure, it really gets under my skin because- Well, I don't care. Liam, you get under my skin. I bet you don't care about that either. And these are life-saving products. That's conditional. They also end lives prematurely, perniciously, and insidiously. At least they have compounds that are conducive to effectuating such a thing. Just like many pointed out in the comment section to her video, these drinks help people who are recovering from eating disorders. And that's not the demographic that she was referring to. And that was not her targeted audience. Who the f*** cares, Liam? That's not the point of her video. I mean, can you imagine recovering from something like that and you finally get to the point where you have this one thing that'll help keep you alive and you're just scrolling? Well, you do know that the carnivore diet, a diet that discourages the consumption of insalubrious and contraindicated foods and compounds, also has helped myriads of people with eating disorders recover from their disordered eating. Through TikTok and randomly this video pops up. I mean, just f <clears throat> You know what? That's not an argument, Liam bothers me. These grocery store walkers, they do all this under the guise of just helping people. Because they are. Paul Saladino is not helping people, though. 
reality, they are doing serious damage to people. No, they're not. Not exactly. I understand what your argument is. Your argument is that if people that have eating disorders come across all of these videos, they're going to feel like it's not safe to eat f***ing anything. And then they're actually not going to eat anything. And that is very deleterious and damaging. That is correct. But once again, it goes back to what I said in the beginning. Twinkies are better than starving. But I'm not going to sit here and pretend like Twinkies should be what is helping people recover from eating disorders. We should encourage genuine, true, indicated salubrious foods to be consumed, Liam. Or else, if anything, that could make them worse, just in a different way. Because Liam, all food is guilt-free. We know what that message means. It means eat whatever the f*** you want. Do you know how many people die from conditions that develop within obese people as a result of inflammation from obesity, but also that die from inflammation directly caused by that food that also, as part of the sequelae, is obesity? You're doing damage too, then, by that philosophy. Everyone's doing damage, Liam. So how about you shut the f*** up and let people discourage the consumption of toxic compounds. Okay? Or maybe, if you want, encourage people with eating disorders to get off the f***ing internet. Most of the time, people that have eating disorders are people that developed it because of looking at social media. So... <sighs> mental health all to enrich themselves. So to all the grocery store walkers- Oh yeah, it's because of the rapaciousness and their cupidity. Uh-huh. ...need to reiterate, get fucked. To everyone else, have a nice day. What an arrogant charlatan. Whatever. If people want to listen to him, they can go ahead and do that. But yikes. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Please subscribe to the channel. And please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And also, subscribe to the Patreon once again, if you haven't already. And also buy my book, Contraindicated, a closer look and revision of mainstream health axioms that have perpetuated illness, disorder, and disease for over a century as well, if you haven't already. And one more thing, if you are attempting to further ameliorate inflammation, and you've already adopted a carnivorous diet bereft of any carbohydrates or plant material to speak of, I would refer to the link on the bottom of the screen now, the Cerule link, but before you do that, I would recommend learning about those products, and therefore I would refer you to the link in the top right corner of the screen called Cerule Products. It is a video that I put together, which is a complete elucidation of what those products are, who should take them, why you should take them, when to take them, etc, etc. And also I would refer you to the description below to the interview that I had between myself and Professor Bart K regarding those products, in which we expounded upon them even further, as well as the brand Cerule and the company itself. And also also email me at goki14 at gmail.com if you have any questions regarding anything, but also if you have any questions regarding how to obtain those products for free, because who in their right mind would not want to do that? So with that being said, join me next time when we react to someone else that is absolutely arrogant and incompetent with respect to the human nutrition science field, biochemistry, cellular biology, anthropology even, comparative anatomy, etc, etc, etc. So see you then.